So let's take a closer look at the metric system, the basic unit, and the prefixes. So here I've got all of the different prefix prefixes for the metric system. Um, and you can see in the middle you've got the basic unit. And so the basic unit is whatever you're measuring, volume, weight, or length. So liters, meters, or grams, depending on what you're measuring. Um, and then you can see we've already talked a little bit about the centimeter, um, which hopefully you're familiar with if you've ever looked at a ruler. Um, and so centi is 100, and so a centimeter was 1 one-hundredth of a meter. If we take that 10 to the negative 2 and convert it into a fraction, 1 over 100, 1 over 10 squared, which is 100. So as you can see, above the basic unit, we have... Uh, more or bigger than the basic unit. So we have a, if we had a decameter, that would be, it's 10 to the first, deca stands for 10, so 10 to the first, so it would be 10 times uh, as big as a meter. So a decameter is 10 meters. Um, and then you, you can go up from there, or we can go down, right? We have a decimeter, which is 10 to the negative 1, 1 over 10. A centimeter we've already talked about, 1 over 100. Milla, milli is for a thou, Latin in 1,000. So 1 over 10 to the third. So 1 over 1,000. So it's 1 1,000th one of a meter. Or a milligram is 1 1,000th one one of a gram. Um, and then it goes further down. Um, micro, nano, pickle. Right, it keeps going, um, and you can see if you convert these negative exponents into a fraction, you can see what fraction of the basic unit that you're talking about. And so that's all about the metric system. That's pretty much all you need to know um, to know about what the metric system is and how it works.